M0FXB, the Quan Sheng Mini Kong UVK1 is now available. And the first thing I'll say is, yes, there is gonna, going to be customizable firmware. The display looks very similar to the UVK5, the UVK6, but it's in a different case and the hardware has been upgraded and it does do your airband, VHF, UHF, the NOAA weather channel and USB-C charging. It looks a nice solid device. I noticed that if you pay a bit extra, you can buy a larger battery uh, for this device. So just scrolling down i am trying to get hold of the cps as soon as i've got it i'll make a video but it looks to me like using it will be identical to the uvk5 and it won't be long before you can program this using chirp uh, so there's the larger battery that you can get you just pay a bit more i think it's a good idea yeah 2500 milliamp power because it's a small device and this one's going to fit in your pocket. It's got the blue buttons and the blue turning knob, knob very similar to the TK11. So it's a mini Kong. Uh, so Type C charging, multi band receiver. I mean, these do just work well, don't they? These these do work well. And if you like uh, to get the latest model, um, you can get an F and four key to start copying channels. So it's it's almost like a frequency detector that you're seeing there and am be nice to test that the am on the tk11 sounded good uh, so that's pleasing now this one hasn't got this extra antenna in the middle uh, this is a one antenna it's not the hf bands i'm sure it will probably cover i would say it's going to cover cb fm transmit is my guess um it'll, and it will cover if you look at the the uvk5 it goes down to 18 megahertz so I would say it's going to cover that. The scrambler, not something I've ever used. Two meters, 70 centimeters on the screen. And with the firmware, you're going to have a band scope on there as well. Uh, so very familiar twin pin. You've got the USB-C there. It says clearly on the front UHF, VHF transceiver. It's got that sort of metal look with the bolts on the front, full keypad. And if you look closer at the keypad, you can see that they've got shortcuts there. I can see A, B, V, M, scan, and um, cool, that was hard to read, band, box, and so on. So that's all nice to have shortcuts and a full alphabet for entering characters. And you can program this on the fly. So there's your classic sort of blue there. And there's the front and the back. It's quite a dumpy device. It's quite dumpy. And you've got your side keys, shortcuts, strap there and a belt clip battery expander is there uh, scrolling down and your accessories so there's another site that i've spotted we're going to, just going to take you to it this one here it's called uv-k1.com i've been looking here to try and find the cps if i keep hunting it's probably in there somewhere um i look direct access uh the successor of the uvk5 open and low cost walkie talkie where to buy and it's on it's it's on alibaba alibaba aliexpress and um banggood it's on uh, quite a few sites now i'm not sure when they actually can post it current model uvk1 variant accessories the firmware has definitely been um hacked by um i'll show you the video link f um f HWN Armel. Thank you, Armel, and some teardown videos there. I'll put that link in the description. Uh, and he's already made some custom firmware for it, so he must have access to the to the CPS, I think, or at least the pro, at least the firmware loading software. It might be the same software for the K5. Who knows? I don't know yet. And of course, check out Armel's GitHub, and there is a section there with a link that takes you to the teardown here. Look in the github and i can see there radio diagram main features pdf i'm just looking for, i've been look hunting for the cps if someone's got it send it me i know it's going to play out and there's links on this uvk one to aliexpress and bang good but i just want to have a little tinker with the cps and if i've got programming software if i've got the firmware loader well, why not um so other changes new keypad layout has been redesigned uh, now featuring side arrows, keys, instead of the UVK5 up and down. Okay. Same as the TK11, isn't it? 
The antenna is now shorter and rigid, unscrewed and replaced. Power buttons change colour, new processor, uh, more memory. Uh, just click on the spec sheet to download here. Okay, so there's a spec sheet link in this link, which is in the description. And K1, K1L with a larger battery, K1A, short battery, but a bigger flash memory. There you are, it's worth knowing if you want lots of memory channels. And they're going to do them in different colours. There's the antenna, the base charger it's got, belt clip. Can the firmware be replaced? And then they go on to talk. Um, yeah. The UV K1 appears to be an open device, just like the K5. Okay, so there's a big yes for that. And some pictures, video. It does say additional development would also be needed for Chirp. Yes, that, that Chirp are always on it with this kind of stuff. Uh, so I just want the CPS as a Facebook group, which is here. So I'll join that and I've sent a message there already asking for the CPS. There are lots of links here. Website. I'll, I'll keep trying. If I get the CPS, let me just try that link there. No luck there. But anyway, there's, a, there's one link from this one looks like it's bang good there. And you've got AliExpress, which is this link here. OK, so thanks for watching. And I'm sure many will buy this because why not? You know, price wise, I think when they first come out, it tends to be a bit higher. So I would say you're looking around £30 or more, but it will come down in a, f in, in a few months. Ultimately, it's... Um, the specifications, as far as I can see, it's it's a it's the new model of the K5, K6, and they're selling. Well, you know what they're selling for. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. All the links that I have got are in the video. As soon as I get the CPS, I'll make a video. But if you've seen the, the CPS for the K5, um, it's the same. And eventually, I, I really like this this link here for firmware. I'll show you which is the, the UV mod one, because you literally just connect the radio, it detects it, and then you can just go click and flash the firmware. So look, at the moment it's just showing UV K5, K6, and the 5R, which is the the Quashang 5R, not, not the Bofeng. Um, so I'm sure this will get updated, and this is the quickest way. Plug your radio in, click flash, it's done. You can actually customise it. You can get the original software from here, um, or you can, you know, patch it up and select things you can scroll down here first you can tick things you do want you don't want little battery icon custom boot screen the front negative display to make it reverse backlight duration and, and so on and so on so i it's my favorite one for software the one i really like as well is uh, for if there's a problem with your radio i tend to go to ijv he makes amazing firmware as well uh, no mention of, as I can see of the Kong yet, but there will be. And then what I do, if I, I go here and there's a, a quite a cool little program. You know, massive thanks to IJV. Here, look. And you can reflash the radio. You can back up your radio. You can actually back up the original flash. Just learning to that. I have made videos. And I find that if I've had a radio that, let's call it bricked, that I just can't get it working. I tend to just download this and flash it and it just tends to work, tends to bring it back to life. I've done that a couple of times. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, always learning and always trying to stay up to date with these type radios. 7.3, all the best. Please hit the like and subscribe. And if you really like my channel, if it's really helped you, uh, buy me a coffee. Or, or the one I'd rather is subscribe to my channel on YouTube. It's only a dollar a month and, uh, and that helps support the channel. Bye for now, 7.3, all the best.